This video that I'm about to show you was made 90% with AI and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in under five minutes. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy around AI-generated videos, but in my opinion, I think this is revolutionary for so many artists. There's a lot of art that I want to create, a lot of ideas that I have, but I just don't have the means to create it, whether it's the technical skill, the access to a location that I want, or a model that I need. Now with AI, I can generate videos that are exactly tailored to my vision. In my video, I do have a couple clips with the actual cosmetic bottle, and those were shot in my studio by myself and my partner, and the rest of it was created with AI. So without further ado, let's get into how to do it. So I'm gonna be doing all of my image generation inside of Freepik. This is a platform that I've been using since I started my business five years ago, and no, this is not sponsored. I just truly love them for a lot of digital assets that I need, and now they have the technology to help you create AI-powered videos. So the first thing you're gonna do is go onto Pinterest and find find an inspo image that represents the kind of video that you want to create. It's very important that you already know what you're looking for because you don't want to waste your AI credits and you want to make sure that you're actually telling a complete story. So like with any project, make sure you're planning out a storyboard or a shot list of every scene you want. Now, the first video that I wanted was a close-up shot of a grapefruit with oil dripping off of it. The scent of this product is grapefruit and it is a beach collection, hence the name Beach Vibes on the bottle. So I wanted to really go all in with that theme and with that scent. So I searched grapefruit on Pinterest and I found this image. The only problem is it's a pink background and I need a tan background. So I brought it into Freepik and found the Reimagine tab and uploaded the photo. When you upload your photo, you'll see that it automatically generates an AI prompt for you. And as we all know, prompting is everything when it comes to generating anything with AI. So the fact that they give you that resource right away is incredible. And then you can look at that and decide what parts of the image you wanna change. You can change the background color, you can add details, change details. It makes it very easy to customize the image that you're gonna generate. Before you actually reimagine this photo, you're gonna see different setting options. One of them being to keep the same composition. So if you want the photo exactly like the inspo, make sure that's selected so that you get something that is nearly identical. And then second most important thing is to pick your aspect ratio. Are you posting an Instagram story, a reel, whatever it is, make sure you select what size photo you are needing. The trick is to make sure you nail the image down before you try to create a video. Because if you try to create a video with no reference, you're gonna waste a lot of credits and it's gonna be quite a headache. So take your time and get the photo nailed before you try to move on. After a couple rounds of generations, I finally found the photo that I wanted. So I hit the little drop down on that image and I told it to turn it into a video. Now it's automatically gonna move it into the AI video tab and it's gonna generate a prompt based on the image and pretty much half the prompt ready to go for you. Now you could generate it as it shows you or you could adjust the prompts a little bit. What's nice is that it does prompt how the camera should move, the lighting, and gets all those nice details. So make sure you read it thoroughly and you like what it's going to generate. And once everything's perfect, you've made your adjustments, just hit generate. You're gonna wait a minute and a half and you'll have your AI video. I honestly couldn't believe how easy this was the first time I did it. I previously was trying to use ChatGPT and multiple different programs like everyone else does, but Freepik has everything in one for you. So if you're looking for the best platform to help you work with most efficiently, then this is definitely what you need to explore. I even tested this exact process out with model pictures. I found the inspo image of a model on Pinterest and then I went to free pick. It did take me a little bit longer to nail the photo for this one, but it did such a phenomenal job and for the most part, everything looked very realistic. I brought it into the AI editor and it looked golden. The very last step was to bring everything into DaVinci Resolve, which is a free editing platform. And then I used sound effects from Artlist to really bring that beach vibe to life and ended up with my final video. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this AI video and let me know if there's any other AI programs that you guys want me to test out. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.